Hi there. If you're like me, you go to a lot of meetings, you get invited to a lot of meetings, and you may invite people to a lot of meetings. I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to use um, Outlook to leverage the power of exchange um, as a really cool uh, communications tool to help streamline the process of setting up and attending meetings. Um, so the first thing I do is launch Outlook, and your Outlook may be a slightly different version than this. It's okay, it'll all work the same. I'm going to click on the calendar button. And it shows me my calendar view. And once here, I'm going to click on New Meeting. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and just do a fake meeting. I'm going to invite Eric Hansen and Dave Arisman. The subject, test meeting, and the location is going to be the ITC. Now, I want my meeting to happen sometime today. Um, let's try 11 o'clock. 11, 11.30, and I'm going to say the purpose is to test exchange calendar functionality. All right. Now, I could send this now, and they will get a meeting request to which they can accept, deny, or accept tentatively. Those are the three options. Um, if they accept it, that meeting requests will automatically populate their calendar. And that's cool because now they're done. And they'll get a little reminder 15 minutes before the meeting is supposed to start. And you can change that. You can say 30 minutes if you'd like. Um, you can even mark the calendar um, you know, with a sort of color code if you want. Now, if they decline it, I get a notification and I'm going to have to pick a new time. But I'd like to avoid uh, picking a bad time. So there's a really neat tool here called the scheduling assistant, which allows me to see Dave and Eric's calendar um, without showing any detail. So I'm going to click on the scheduling assistant and show you what that looks like. So here we see Dave, Eric, and actually see my myself, my calendar here. And this green line is the start time of the meeting time that I proposed and the end time. Now notice here under Eric's calendar, he's got it blocked off. Um, it's, it's a blue bar, meaning that he's not available at that point. I can't see what he's doing. Um, it's private, but I can see that he's not available. So, and same over here for Dave at 1, between 1 and 2.30. Well, all I have to do is drag this bar, and now my meeting time automatically adjusts to 3 to 4. And look, nobody's busy during that time. That seems like a time that'll work for everybody. So I'm going to go ahead and hit send. And now they're going to get a meeting request. Okay. And we can even look at my calendar. My calendar is automatically populated with test meeting at the ITC. And then this is the person that invited or, you know, the meeting requester. So I'm going to show you what it looks like when it comes to you. I've asked Eric to send me a test um, meeting request. And it's uh, right here. It shows up as an email. Now, the plan implementation of the Seriously technology um, location, he left it blank. But here's the subject, and here's the meeting requester. And here's some, uh, some detail down here, Friday, January 28th, 11, 30, uh, blah, blah, blah. So that's all good. So here are my options. I can either accept this, I can tentatively accept it, or I can decline it. I can even propose a new time um, if I want to, you know, yeah, I want to meet, but I can't meet at 11. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit accept, and I just want to send the response. I don't want to have to add any other, um, you know, notes. Although I could, which uh, if I wanted to add some notes, I just hit edit the response before sending. But I'm just going to go ahead and send the response now. Done. And if I go back to calendar, I should have here. It is plan implementation. Eric Hansen, 11 o'clock, and we're all set. I'm going to get a reminder 15 minutes in. So that's good. Now, go back to my mailbox. I got a confirmation from Eric for the meeting that I sent him. He's accepted it. I got confirmation. It's populated his calendar as well as mine. That's it. It's a great tool. I um, encourage everybody to use it. Um, frankly, I'd rather not even go to a meeting if I don't get this uh, meeting request and have it populate my calendar. Um, so keep that in mind if you ever want me to attend a meeting. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.